New details are now emerging about the flight's final moments and the pilot's efforts to try to knock down the cockpit door. According to the German newspaper Bild, the pilot stepped out, leaving controls to the co-pilot. The pilot can later be heard yelling, quote, for God's sake, open the door, and three minutes later, loud metallic bangs, as if someone was trying to break down the door. You'll recall after the 9-11 attacks, cockpit doors were reinforced to keep intruders from getting inside the cockpit, from taking over the pilot controls. Let's bring in CNN's Tom Foreman. Tom, the reinforcement on these cockpit doors, it makes them nearly impossible to destroy, I guess. Yeah, nearly, nearly impossible is right, especially if you consider whatever they would have had at their disposal on a plane like this to go after this door. Let's take a look at the architecture of the door because that's what we're really talking about here. From the cabin area, you can see the keypad that a pilot would use to get in if it's not locked from the cockpit, and it was. But let's flip it over and look at the, the, the architecture of this door. Yeah, there's an emergency panel down here for escape from the cockpit, but that really only works from inside the cockpit, so that's no good. The hinges are reinforced over here. There are three electronic bolts going down the side here that go into the frame of the airplane. In, this will be in general in most commercial jets out there. There's also a manual bolt up here that can be thrown, so even if these aren't working, that would work. This is a tremendous amount of holding force on the door, but inside the door, there's also an awful lot of resistance. If you can't go around the edge, you try to go through the middle, well, yeah, the vinyl on the outside, that's easy to get through. Maybe you can get through this layer of honeycomb material here that keeps down noise and shapes the outside door. But this part in here, the gray part, Jake, the part you can't see in the middle of this door, this is sort of like Kevlar. It's a very, very tough material, and you can pound away at this very hard, and you're not going to break through, Jake. What would it take, Tom, to, to actually break down such a door? Well, you mentioned 9-11. That's really the standard they're looking at here. If you had a pistol, you could shoot at this door, at the joints and everything else, and it still would not give way. It's designed to resist that. If you had a grenade and you set it off out here, the shrapnel would not cut through the door, let alone blow it off its hinges. And if you think about a battering force, if you had an NFL linebacker, a guy who weighed 250 pounds, who's running at Olympic speed, and he hits this door with, say, 1,500 pounds of force, even that won't break it down. So the simple truth is, Jake, what it would take to break down this door is a lot more than anybody would have had at their disposal in 10 frantic minutes of flight.